Hi everyone! If anyone expecting you to buy them an expensive gift, they don't deserve your gift. Seriously? They want you, your gift, your money? What do they want? Buying a gift can be a hassle. Making a present for someone can be a hassle, especially if you are male. Most men struggle to buy gift, but I'm going to today to teach you how to make a simple gift, but lovely yet nice and very creative. Remember, if you want to give someone gift, you don't necessarily have to buy anything. You can always not even buying a card. You can make a card for them. You can write something for them. You can draw, paint, or if you are not very good at drawing or painting. Uh, just writing a message for them, that's the best thing. You want to buy something? Buy a book. Book is the best gift, best present. You want to buy something for me? A car, a house, a jet, private jet, a football team. Is that too much? Sorry. So don't buy me anything. Today I'm going to teach you how to make crystals. Very cheap way, very easy and simple, yet the result is lovely. So. Let's do it together. There are different ways to make um, crystals, but for our one, the main ingredient is um, alum, alum salt, uh, potassium aluminum sulfate. That's the main one we're gonna use. Uh, you can easily find them in any spice shop. Uh, in even some supermarkets, they sell them. They are so cheap. I also have found out there's a powder called Tavas powder, if I pronounce it correctly. They use this in mainly in um, southeast of Asia to make deodorant, homemade one. It's so cool. Actually, let's see if it smells nice. Yeah, it smells okay. So I've heard there's the same thing. I tried to read the instruction, sorry, ingredients here. It doesn't say anything. It's just a powder, perfume. So. There are different uses for it. I will try to make crystal with this one too. Some crystals made out of a copper sulfate, but not everyone have uh, access to the copper sulfate solution. So, but that's how the crystal looks like. I've already made few crystals out of alum salt, different colors. You can see, they are lovely. But, and I have one in process here, but I'm gonna show you from scratch, from the beginning, how I use it. What do we need is a cup. I'm using beaker, a glass, a cup, anything will do. Uh, a food coloring here, alum salt obviously or alum stone, you can crush it. Nail polish, I will tell you later what we need. A string, I didn't have very thin thread or string. A fish line is the best one. Well, I'm gonna use this cotton one which we have at work. The results um, shouldn't be different to be honest. Steering rod, we're steering and scissors. So I'm going to start with having some uh, hot boiling water in my cup. Hot boiling water, be careful with that. I'm gonna use one of them for the alum salt, the other one with the Tavos powder. Uh, starting with the salt. So adding, not the way I do it, you do it properly. You add the salt and you stir. Make sure there is no don't put your finger in the hot boiling water. You keep stirring it until there is no more salt dissolving inside. Um, how this works, the crystal, I'm gonna ask our chemist or chemistry teachers to explain it to us. These are crystals, I thought they were sweets. <laughs> you can try them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you take? What, what did you have? I had alum salt added to the hot boiling water. Right. And then I had like a seed of crystal inside, let it cool down stay for a few hours, 10 right. 12 hours, and then I took it out, it was this big! So the aluminium salt that you had, uh -huh. uh, what would you call that? It's just aluminum salt, they can yeah, buy it from the spice it's shops. it's a what? If you're dissolving it in something, we call it a... Are you testing my knowledge? Oh, I, I, that's why I have you two here, to just explain Right, that. okay, so for solutions, if you think about it, the solute is what you put, okay? So the solute, is what Mr. Yaz has Dan, put Dan. in. Ah, uh, like Mr. Yaz bear. Oh, so. oh <laughs> um, that's my brand. <laughs> uh, the solute is what you put into the solvent. The solvent is where it went. Where, what was your solvent? Our solvent this time was... Water. H2O. Okay. That's water. So your solute was the alum 
the solvent was the water and your solution was a solution of alum suspended mm -hmm. in water. Because it started to cool down slowly and because you haven't added ice or anything to it to make the cooling process a lot quicker, then what that means is that you have got a lot more time for the ionic crystals because this is an ionic substance, it's a metal and a non-metal. The ionic substance is therefore able <laughs> Uh, to, to form, form large crystals and it forms yeah. larger crystals yes. so the longer you cool it let it cool the larger crystals it forms like these ones although I think Mr. Moo probably brought these because <laughs> oh, he, he would never be able to make these <laughs> oh look it's uh, some dye on your finger now yeah I know because I use uh, food colouring to turn into these colours oh, nice. you mean it's amazing isn't it soup.com you bought one of those kits for the <laughs> no I got the food colouring from Mr. Richard Art yeah, we have food coloring. I bought the alum salt from the spice shop. I went there. They have alum stone. So you can either crush it or just dissolve. Oh, I've got lessons now. We've got lessons. Oh, thank you very lessons. much. I don't don't take my crystals. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. I can add more. Another rubbish inside. I need to take it out. Not this time with my finger. I'm gonna keep some of this powder. I'm gonna need them later. No more will dissolve in hot boiling water. We still have some crystal at the bottom left. It's fine. Um, some people recommend to filter this, so take those um, salt that is left at the bottom out. I have tried it with, with keeping them inside and it works. So, up to you. However you like it. Let's do the powder one now. Oops. Dissolves very quickly. I think because it's powder, more surface area. Yeah, let's put all of it. I would like to add some um, food dye to our solution. If you like to have different colors of crystals, any color you choose it and add the food dye to it. So here I have red and this one is in process, got red too, which I'll show it to you later. So let's add some food coloring. That should be enough. If you want a darker color, you add more, light color, less. Right, you need your crystal to be formed around something, so you need a seat for it. Either it can be a small piece of crystal itself like this, or you decide what you want to be. If you remember this one from my uh, hologram video, look, I've cut different shapes out of it to test it, and it worked very well. I'll show you later. But I'm gonna use a plastic sheet like this, solid, to cut any shape. Well, trying to make it look like a diamond. It's not a diamond, but anyway. I need a hole somewhere in the top. That's where my string will go. Now I'll show you why I needed um, nail polish. Nail polish won't dissolve in water. Uh, some people use glue, but some glues dissolve in water, so you won't get a good result unless you're glue doesn't dissolve. You paint it. I have green one. I know it's not the best color here, but it doesn't matter. It's for our experiment. Not for my nails. No, I don't wear nail, nail polish. So, while it's still sticky, it's not dry yet, get some of this powder and sprinkle it all over it. And you let it dry. I, to be honest, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but for that one, I have something already made with these pieces that is a pipe unblocker or we they use it in art and craft. You can form it's like a fluffy wires. Make any shape that you like. I made these two random shapes, attached them before. So same for this one. I tried them without any powder over them, and to be honest, you can see it just made a tiny amount of crystal in the top and nothing on the actual shape. So I'm gonna do, do the same thing, put the nail polish over there and sprinkle some 
powdered alum salt over it. For better result, do both sides. Don't forget to give, give it enough time to dry. This one gonna go inside the, the Tavas powder. I really don't know if it works or not. It's my first time, so. These two ready. It has to be below the water level, so just sink it in. I'm not, oh, already has some color in it, but not adding any more color. And this need to be left somewhere. So do not, without touching it, give it a few hours to see if any crystal are gonna form around it or not. Let's get back to this one now. It's ready. Make sure it doesn't touch the bottom of the cup. Now this is ready to go inside our solution. A saturated solution. Nothing, no more crystal would dissolve inside. I still have some crystal at the bottom, which is good. It's like a blood. And now let's have a look at the one that I made it this morning, so a few hours ago, not a long time ago. Wow, guys, look. Only like three, four hours ago, I made a hard shape out of the plastic sheet. And you can see, oops, dropping. Crystals already started forming around this. You can use even as a necklace if you have a proper chain to it. Hard chain. So I have to leave it for longer inside. Different people, I've seen different videos, they say around 12 hours. Minimum, I guess. So over the night. So I'm just gonna leave it back inside. And there's lots of crystals forming at the bottom too. You can personalize these crystals by, on this plastic sheet, you can write the names, for example. Don't add a food coloring to it, make it clear crystal. So people, when they're looking at it, they can see the names, they can see the pattern, shape, even photos, as long as it doesn't dissolve inside the water. Now we have to wait around 12 hours for all these crystals to properly get formed. They can be quite fragile, however, if you spray, um, I don't know what art is using over the paint, is it acrylic spray? Or even um, clear nail varnish. Go over it, it would make it stronger, it would last longer. But, we have to wait 12 hours, so you continue watching me for the next 12 hours while the crystal gets ready. Keep watching, where are you going? Don't fast forward it. Stop it. Watch my video. What's wrong with you? I spend a lot of time making this. You want to go and I have to stay here for 12 hours. At least subscribe while you're sitting there. Like, comment. Oh, God. Do something. I should come back tomorrow. Till next time. See you.